everyone, good morning Hillview. Today is Thursday, January 17th, 2019. I'm Lucy and today we have a spectacular episode of HVTV. But before we hop right into it, please rise and remove all hats for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Cereal? Eggs? Yogurt? There's a little shop in downtown Menlo Park that aims to bring something unique and new to the Menlo Park diet. Frozen yogurt. Combining creamy deliciousness with frozen joy. Mio's Yogurt is a place for you to visit. Cleo and Sonia have the story. We'll just have like a Welcome to Mio's, located downtown Menlo Park, the place where all your frozen yogurt fantasies come true. Mio is wondrous because the workers are really nice. Mio's has a variety of flavors. But picking out flavors is not just a random choice. We asked one of the employees how they do it. We decide the flavors based on what the customers like. So we put a flavor out for a certain amount of time. If it gets like a certain amount of sales, we keep that flavor. Frozen yogurt is delicious, but it is nothing without all the toppings. If you're not in the mood for food, you can still get pearl tea. Pearl tea is jasmine tea or, or black tea, whichever you prefer, mixed with uh, boba, which is tapioca. And we have different flavors for that you can pick as well. We sell pretty much every fruit, fruit flavor, or if you want to do a mix between yours, that's, we can do that as well. If it's too cold out for something frozen, Mio's got you covered with warm, gooey crepes. I always get a Nutella crepe. Mio does it really well. But how do you make this yummy treat? We put it on the pan, uh, we do it into a circle, and we let it sit for a bit until it's well cooked. And then we put the Nutella inside or whatever you want inside, and that's pretty much it. Next time you're craving something sweet, head to Mio's in downtown Menlo Park. Reporting for HGTV, I'm Sonia and I'm here with Cleo. Mio sounds like a great place to get frozen yogurt. I'll go there soon. Hayview has a new game show that is most likely not a ripoff of Dude Perfect. From proposals to whales, our new game show exposes a whole new side to Hillview. Get ready, Hawks, because Wheel of Misfortune starts now. Welcome to Wheel of Misfortune, and I'm your host, Henry Spooner. And we have pronounced that word. Flippo Anshun means to have fun with your friends. Flokinokinifilipilification. Flokinokinifilipilification. And now you have to do the chicken dance. Pretend to be a whale! <laughs> Wait, I thought a whale was like, arf, arf! No one can see you. Propose to someone random! Tommy? We've been dating for eight months. <laughs> Anderson, will you, will you be my wife? Okay. Yeah. Includes this segment of Wheel of Misfortune. Uh, see you next time. Thanks, Henry and Henry. That was a very flow snick chuni hippo Have you seen Mr. Chu walking around campus? If you haven't, here he is by Dale and Ming. Some of you may have heard or seen our new assistant principal, Mr. Chu, around campus. Uh, my name is Danny Chu. I am the new assistant principal over at Hillview Middle School this year. 
and I am now in my 12th year in education. We asked Mr. Chu what his duties include here at Hillview. As you probably already know, one of my biggest ones is student discipline. I'm also a liaison for your student body, so when they have ideas for activities such as bringing Stomper um, out to Hillview, there are just random things that I do around here as well, such as checking in with our custodians, making sure they have what they need to make the school clean and safe for all students. Outside of maintaining the school, Mr. Chu also has hobbies of his own. Other things I like doing which are kind of nerdy, I do with my girlfriend. Um, we build Gundam models, head to a hobby shop and we find some of them and then we build them. We build a few already. Um, I love board games, so for those of you who play Taboo or Settlers of Catan, hit me up. <laughs> Mr. Chu told us about his time at Thomas R. Placida Middle School. Uh, it's actually right tucked under San Bruno Mountain, very small middle school. Believe it or not, I was a super chubby kid and uh, I did not have a lot of hobbies outside of just going back home um, and watching cartoons. Although middle school is anything but simple for Mr. Chu, high school was much worse. High school was really difficult for me. I went to a high school where I didn't look like the rest of the students um, and my culture and ethnicity were definitely not like the rest of the students. My friends and I were a very, very small minority there and we were picked on a lot because we were Chinese. On top of racism and bullying, Mr. Chu also had to travel very far to get to his school. It actually was not close to my house, but our school district had a busing program. I took the yellow school bus, it brought me out to Pacifica to a high school called Terra Nova High School. With such an exclusive atmosphere, Mr. Chu had to find activities away from the bullies. It was just trying to isolate myself from them, and then after school, joining in with my friends and taking on pretty much extracurricular activities that I knew were safe. Signing off for HVTV, I'm editor Dale McCann, along here with videographer Min Nguyen. Thanks, Dale and Min, for that awesome feature. That was all for today, but we will be back soon. So on behalf of the majority of the Hawk Talk News team, make an outstanding rest of the day, week, and year or not, the choice is always yours. Teachers and students, stay tuned for extra special announcements.